I have added some code at the bottom with the title card.liquid just below the product uh, CSS code and this is pretty similar to all of the other CSS code by providing the table width that is the hundred percent and then as well as table head with border bottom one pixel solid gray color and then the text alignment should be on the left side padding is 20 pixel and blah 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 you can actually set it out according to your own perspective and own need if you want to or just leave it as it is if you really don't want to mess it up I'm just gonna save everything back in here I'm just going to get back into my shopping cart I'm going to refresh the page in here and as you can see that now everything looks pretty good and very easy to follow on I'm just going to minimize it in here and as you can see that now it is actually padded up and this picture is also padded up and as well as the quantity and all the things are now in a proper and right position now the last thing I want to do is I want to actually show some link or button in here in the toolbar. So when a person or a, other, or a person he or she uh, add any item to the card, there will be an indication to that person that two items are in the card, three items are in the card, or four items are in the card. So I'm going to get back in here, and we'll open theme dot liquid file in here. In here, I'm just going to add a few of the div sections that will be actually corresponding to the link to the card. Just inside the container, I'm just going to remove it and we'll add some piece of code in here. I have added the piece of code in here and this is a very simple code. The card will be actually the title or the writing on the left side and there will be following a link when a person clicks on the card in here he will be directed to that card page and along with that uh, uh, just for this card will be following this item so which means that card has two items, three items, four items and it would be pluralized which means that it can be up to ten items, eleven items and uh, uh, no matter how much items are inside the card that will be actually shown inside that toolbar and after that uh, the price will be following the card item count so there would be if there are five items then you, the, the first option will be card like this I'm just gonna show you a demo in here card one item and there will be a price like one twenty dollars or something like that so I'm just gonna actually save everything back in here get back and now I'm gonna get back to my main collection page where I have added a few of the things in here and I'm gonna refresh the page in here and we'll check out the toolbar as you can see that the card toolbar and these are actually the items three items plus 360 so I'm just gonna click on this link and he will be or she will be directed to that link with three quantities and the rust is three sixty dollars if I just make it five dollars and update the card then you will see that we the price has been added and it is six hundred dollars or on the way If you just click on the checkout button then he or she will be actually able to buy that specific product inside the way 